I'm not sure why you're still in your car. I don't use it. I'll just sit there and look at it in the garage and then you get on to me for not selling the vehicle. <laughs> get out of here. I really do though. You know I don't drive it. I'm talking about the other part. Which one? I've never said anything about your cars. As y'all know, I just like to sticker them up. Have fun with them. You sticker any of my cars up. <laughs> See? Why was it such a big deal that I stickered cars that, like, he don't even have the super anymore, guys. Because if you're following, as you know, the super's already gone. It's that one. Now he's trying to sell the GTR. GTR I'm a little upset about. I was upset about the super. Now the GTR, because GTR, oh, it. I don't understand all this. Now he's getting a new puppy. A new puppy? Wait, why would we be getting a new puppy? Y'all want to stay in the garage right now. I never worry about those cars. We have room for a new puppy now. No, we don't. No, we don't. She came home last night with somebody's number, and I said, why is this random number here on a napkin? Because they got Kita puppies. Are they Kita? What are they called? Kita. Kita puppies. I was like, yeah, and throw that away. Nobody needs a puppy. We're not getting a puppy. And I have this thing. I'm still racing. Yeah, that's how it is. She's a puma going into cougar stages, guys. Can well take care of herself and her family. She I got to pick up after. I do pick up. I do no, pick up uh, after. Mm -mm. No, she no. I hate to everywhere. go. I hate to go show y'all the bathroom right now. With, I'll show you the bathroom. With it looks like a crime scene happened. Dirty clothes. That happens. I got to Why? Get in the shower. I told him the other night. I said, you know what? I need the rest of the closet space. He's only. I only get this much. I said. For some reason, the closet is in your floor. I'll it's show in you. the floor. I will show so, you. So this is what I got. Wait, show them all this and this. There ain't no reason to show. No, nope, yes. it's not that. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Wait. I got a left. No, no, you got all this. I got a little tiny drawer system. Yeah. Show it. Oh, I'm gonna show it. So I got this. This is where I got my Get underwear got and my shoes thing. down there. And then she's got that, yeah. that, that, that. That's not yours. That one side's yours. I don't have anything that's... But in hold on. Here's my issue. That's fine. Stay out. Yeah, and then if you're going to, don't do this. Why? Why? I forgot to Why? pick it up. That's all. You man. forgot? It. it lays up daily. No, it does not. It lays up here daily. Yeah. <laughs> that's my That's my go night night clothes. I don't know why this... This is night night, so I'll leave it alone. Mm -hmm. I have no reason to touch it. This I was supposed to wear today, but I forgot. So I'll put this on right now and take this shirt off. <laughs> What was that doing? That's when I decided to work out. They're prepped and ready to so go. So you might as well just, just throw those away. <laughs> After that, so Josh, I guess, has somebody, two guys are fighting over this car. I don't even know if I did an intro. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Love y'all. Um, so I guess two people are fighting over this, and he had one guy that's super interested, going to fly from somewhere, get a hotel, and I'm like, really? And so then he called Josh the other day. Of course, we were talking about it at dinner. He's like, if he if he even wants me to budge a dollar, it's going to be no. It's going to be a deal breaker. Sure enough, he's all interested. He's getting the hotel and stuff. And then he calls Josh and, hey, can we just go down a little bit? I want some equity in it. Josh like, your equity's there. No. And because he just went and done belts on it the other day, $500 worth of belts. So the answer is no. So anyways. $500 counting the belts. I bought the belts separately so I wouldn't have right. to pay dealer price for them. It was just labor. Yeah. That was the case for that. But then he said, okay, well, he was still coming. So then this other guy's like super interested in trying to fly down like tomorrow. Well, we can't, like Josh kind of told the other guy, he's like, hey, you got to let me know if you're still coming. And he left him on red. As the kids say, they left me on red. And so um, I think you're going to, Josh kind of feels guilty because he wants this other guy to say, hey, I don't want to come look at the car, but I'm like, no, it's business. Yeah, I, I have a very, I, I try to do right by other people, right, I which ends up screwing me over a lot. So I usually don't talk to people anymore. <laughs> so he would lose both sales. So I'm like, no, you messaged him and said, hey, if you're truly coming, you got to let me know if you get your hotel. And he's not, he's left him on red. So possibly we're going to proceed with the other guy to come look at it. And he's going to fly in too, which is crazy. All these people are going to fly in to get a car, but... Just kind of worries me. I told Josh, you need to take him to the police station. You need to take a buddy with you. That's locked and loaded like you are. So when you're counting that much money, trying to make sure it's not counterfeit, that your back's protected. So I just hope that he's safe because men try to be all macho. I got this um, when they're dealing with that much cash being transferred over. But 
I don't know. So we'll see, guys, if somebody does come to look at it or buy it. But Kata and I, Callan's at work, to do a Starbucks challenge on your channel. So it's basically saying I like my Instagram. I'm basically trying my Instagram followers' Starbucks drinks. Okay, so they make up the drink? It's what they usually drink or what they get at Starbucks, and I'm just trying it. Okay, we're going to rate it? Yeah. Okay, I like it. Because when I do oil change, you know it only costs me, I put it up, do it real quick, and out, like maybe $40 for the oil and like 5 bucks for the filter. Yeah. $108.99. Oh, because you're at the dealership. It don't matter where I go, it's still going to be expensive. That blows my mind. How, how long does it take for him to change the oil filter? I pull in Babylonian, he changes mine in eight minutes and charges me $69. Yeah. That means you should change your oil. That's, well, I don't have a big... I don't have the lifts anymore. I don't live on base, and it's an hour away to go to the base. Yeah, but we could just buy those um, things you drive Roll up on. Rollers? Yeah, yeah we could 100%, and then we just have to take the oil down to the place, and then I'd have to charge a fee. I, get, I have to pay them oh, a fee. Oh, we have to take, to take oil to a certain place. That's right. See? So it's nice whenever you can do it on right, base in its garage. It's like a 15, 20 minute drive for me. I, tr I, I looked at it, the amount of gas, the amount of stuff that I have to do. If um, I lived on base, I'd do all the work myself. It's so much easier to live on base. Straight up with you. Living on base is 100%. Looking up is the main issue. Sorry, I'm talking. Oh, for oil change? Yeah, when I go up underneath the car. <laughs> okay, it's like having my neck extended too long. Jacks up that shock system. We can show Kata how to change oil. You got onto me for that. No, I think you should change her oil, but she should know how to change her oil. You said absolutely not. I think she should know how to do it. Always know how to do that. And I think you need to show her how to change a tire. That'd be a cute vlog. <laughs> That'd be such an awesome vlog. I'll be out there crying. No, you'll be okay. I changed mine at night and it was horrible. I think you should always call that star whatever and get help. But if for some case you couldn't get help out there, you at least what? know how to. Star what? It's like star something something. Each state has their own thing. You don't know that? It's the highway patrol. They come out and take care of your tires and stuff. No. Yes, yeah, the thing, guys, if you don't know, I can't th remember what Florida's is right now. Anyway, so we should know that better. Lee, that's not a word. I think you do? For the Florida Highway Patrol thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I need to put that in my it's phone. In my notes. See, I'm so proud of you because one day I was rolling through and I said, McKelly, you need to put that in your note in case you're ever driving. I just didn't do it as mom bear. See, I do teach my kids the right thing to do <laughs> because me, I'll be out there, I could change it. But I know that she probably could not. So that'd be an interesting vlog. Comment below, guys, if you want to see that vlog, Michaela changed her own tire. I forgot where I was going with this whole story. Cool story, Mom. I know, I totally forgot where we Oh, it was so much easier to live on base, hands down. Josh and I were even talking about it last night from dinner because Josh is not personable. Shocker, shocker, if you followed us for so long. Me. Personable, I just don't like people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me. You agreed to. Yeah, I love yeah. people. I love to see. Yeah, you saw our neighbors yesterday. Okay, but still, I love people. And so it was nice to live on base because I could still go make friends. You could go to Zumba and stuff like that. With our friends. These are on base. Everything for the kids. Yeah, it was nice. Now I'm going to be honest with you. Best decision was moving off base money wise, but. Is it really? Yeah, because I can sell this house for almost three times what we bought it for. Oh, yeah, but still, power bill and stuff's included. And it doesn't matter. I still make all that money back times three. Yeah, because yeah, the market went crazy during COVID and stuff, guys. Our house is, oh, yeah, it's doubled in value. So, but anyways, it was more convenient. Three, yeah, tripled. Um, more convenient to live on base. Now let's go get our Starbucks on, Michaela. And then, but nobody likes. <laughs> nobody what? <clears throat> Acid reflux. Josh is griping about his YouTube. My YouTube is the same way. You put content out there, nobody can see it. But I mean, I, I can complain I about my YouTube. I don't even get over 200 views. So, I, I mean, blocked. my thing is blocked. It tells me certain countries can't see mine. Something about the views. Like, as we have 3,600 subscribers, I think we should have more than 200 views on our videos. Here's the thing YouTube has already said, okay, so first of all, we're niched so hard in the UK. Guys, we love the UK, and, and that's fine or whatever, but that hurts our views. Second thing is, YouTube has now tried to be the new TikTok. And they've even put out memos. They come to, um, because I have two channels, they came to my Traveling Family of Five channel, which is this one, and they asked for me to be a part of their short community. I don't want to be a part of the short community. And Josh, sometimes I know that can make you fail or whatever, but I truly want to make content on Traveling Family of Five. To me, I already have a half a meal on TikTok. 
Why are you putting TikTok comment on YouTube to be big? Because TikTok is beating them up. I baby. know that. Facebook just lost like I think it was 24 or 25 billion dollars because TikTok, TikTok is, is just stomping, stomping them. them. And it's it done is. by Chinese. So you know what? Mark, good luck, brother. I know. So and that's what YouTube wants to do with it. And I've heard so many like million people with million um followers and stuff saying that theirs is not even being put out there nobody's seeing their notifications nobody's kind of seeing anything from these bigger youtubers not just somebody small like me as a youtuber because they only want to push these shorts oh, and so it just makes it hard because we truly sometimes want to put true content out there whether it's to entertain you guys make you guys laugh make you guys smile i want ice or ice, cream ask for ice cream ice cream youtube's made for true content and my take TikTok, I get wild and crazy on, and, and that's me for TikTok. Um, guys, my OCD kicks in. Why? Why is that? Why is he messy? So, uh, looks like Kate and I are in the car. Guys, like, no, like, for real. She starts her intro, and like, I don't have something to hold my phone and puts it right here. My chin's like this right here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. No! No! What is she doing and laughing about? I have no other word to put. <laughs> us uh, the little jack things in our car and i'm gonna go and put to get more fat from mama's car then if we're gonna start vlogging sometimes in here we need to get like a little jack we will figure it out for your video so uh, guys if you watch her video on twinsy 15 <laughs> disregard my neck of course we're going in because our line here in starbucks is ridiculous and it's raining it's in my hair and it's raining i mean my hair is washed and clean too so but i straightened mine i don't get out in the way i'm gonna wear one of those bags like some of those people put on their heads <laughs> these drinks i mean they are like straight I up how to take a cute picture beautiful maybe send them in the dad yeah like that window pics are always kind of cute all right, guys, we just drank way too much coffee on her video. So, I have something here. It's got some brown butter in it. We got something that tastes drink like and pink the dragon fruit dragon. sugar. It tastes like pomegranate. All of them are pretty good. The only one I don't like is this green one, the matcha tea. Um, and I do like it, but overall, it's like a five because I really have to be in the mood for that. But that was kind of a cute video. That was fun to do. Mm -hmm. How's y'all's life been? It's all well. Hopefully, everybody is well, safe. Love and life. I love the UK, but a lot of my content is like a lot of the UK and like now that I'm not in the UK anymore, it's kind of so hard now to get my channel out of the UK. Like when I was there in the UK with my boyfriend, if you guys were there, uh, four point like 4.1K on videos. But now that I'm not, of course, with my boyfriend in the UK now, me and my sister just make regular videos and they only go to 200 views. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I love my YouTube family, I'm not saying anything bad about that, but I don't want to be kind of so branded anymore. Yeah. Like I. Well, it's okay to be branded on this channel, but if you still want to, that's why I tell you, if you want to do just fun videos, just do a separate channel. It's still just editing a video. I mean, it is a lot of work. I mean, if nobody, they lie to you if they tell you YouTube's not a full-time job. It's a hundred percent a full-time job if you're doing it correctly between the editing and just the vlogging all day. So sometimes challenges are fun and you do them in like 30 minutes and then it's just, the video's done because so. like every uk content i post goes high Hi. but i can't just constantly always post uk content because no, you're not there anymore and still get paid and everything for that for youtube so i'm trying to find other ways to kind of get out of the uk well, it's not that it's you love the uk, UK con love it you love the uk content but you're still just young yeah. i mean guys she's almost to be 21 she still likes to do shopping challenges or i mean we, we don't need to throw my age out there but i still like to do challenges yeah. and i just think challenges don't belong on vlog families like we're a vlog family and i don't think it, those two belong together that's hard to mix those two together <laughs> I'm gonna wind up naming this video saying goodbye to YouTube or something. <laughs> Everybody call it clickbait, but I don't know at this point that's what, but that's not what we're saying, guys. We're definitely not saying goodbye no, to YouTube. No. We love our YouTube channel and we love our, like you guys on my channel have became a family. Same for us. So I know things about you guys. You, some of you know things about me that you should not know. You've been digging too. Um, but it's okay. I love you all, guys. And um, I never have anything, honestly, to hide from you guys. The only thing that I get protective about is my family and where we live. And, of course, I mean, sometimes I'm definitely fussing about those things. Don't put that in there! Um, so, but I've actually had people out in the street, so has Caroline, that say, 
hey, I know you. And I'm like, and that's the same for right? me when I was in the UK. You know? Someone found me through um, Jacob's window, if I haven't told this story, literally on, the, on your channel. Remember? So basically, I was, um, one day Jacob was gone doing his thing and stuff and I was at the hospital myself with Tom and everything and these girls literally was upstairs literally eating ice cream watching a TV show these and his, they saw me through my boyfriend's window a story or two up and I don't know how they recognized me from the window the window happened to be open because it was kind of hot outside and I wanted a little fresh air and they started screaming through the window of like I know you I recognize you can you come down and chat for a minute through Jacob's two-story apartment girl no 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 you have never told me this I story because i've told sissy i have remembered saying this Maybe. this would have been on youtube by now if okay so whoever's in the comment section if you were those little girls and you followed there was two. please come and comment that that was you um not that it was creepy it was just weird that they recognized me from a two-story window that's what i'm saying so you're to... on his bed eating ice cream and watching you like, I wasn't even like I was even looking out the window or paying any attention. The fact that I was on his bed and they could just see me through his two-story window was just... But see, that makes me think because, um, I, you know, I'm not even really from London. And I could have picked out exactly where you were at sometimes when you were vlogging. Because when I watch their channel, I, that's instantly what I do, guys. I'm not watching their content. But they're like... We just had to switch over because... Um, <laughs> Mama's got like three vlogs on that she hasn't edited yet. I know. And... See? I'm bad. And my storage is done. But... Yeah, Michaela, people can pick your stuff out just like I can. And when we watch your channel back, we're like, oh, yeah, we're watching for certain stuff. So, yeah, but anyways, I mean, I just I just found it honestly like. That's where I get protective and I, I don't want anybody. So they did get to meet me because Tom was like, where are you going at 7 o'clock at night? He was, you went down? Because he was concerned. He's like, where are you going? He's like, oh, why, were, why were girls screaming outside the window? I was like, well, these girls asked to meet me. They were like 15, 16, and he was like, just please you be careful. Down? And then he was like, oh, is everything okay? Because Tom was concerned. He's like, why are people screaming outside Jacob's window at like 7 or 8 o'clock at night, and you're dressed to go out? And I was like, these girls asked me to meet them down there and everything. So I went down. Was, Wait, were they YouTube followers? They were like Instagram followers and stuff. They legitly knew who I was. And that's the thing. I just understand how they could pick up where Jacob officially lived. Oh, you could. And what what apartment complex? There's so many complexes where he lives that you. How could you pick that up? And there's a few of you. I know y'all are as um, good as detectives as I am, and uh, you can go ahead and comment in the comment section. You know exactly where she was at, because I know a few of you were saying to me on the back can that hey, Michaela, and I'm like, yeah, I know I've done been fussing at her, but she don't believe it when it's mom telling her that stuff. But oh my god. I did not know that. Why did you not vlog that for us? I have put it in multiple YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure I've put this in multiple YouTube videos before because I remember saying stuff about it. I was saying in the UK because I it's probably one of the UK vlogs that was put up a long time ago. Oh, but okay. yeah, so that happened. So well, I'm late on the story. So guys. people do recognize us and stuff while we're out, and apparently me across the pond, people still recognize yeah. me too. So. I think you're more recognizable across the pond. I don't know. Whenever I was going for my tea and we came back over during COVID and I came into Florida, people were, I mean, like at this well, little restaurant. Well, yeah. yeah. Look, well, they're like, were you the tea lady? Yeah. They're like, whoa, wait, you're somebody. And I was like, no, I'm nobody. But they're like, no, but you're the tea person. I was like, well, I'm still nobody. But yeah, I am her. <laughs> so yeah. We and she have... made that tea in the UK. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned because I will show you this video got way off track. Um, with Michaela's stalker stuff. It's not stalking, but um, I guess fan, whatever. But I am going to show you, I guess if dad decides to sell this car, if he gets mugged, if he gets robbed. Stay tuned, guys, because we've been in this waterfall effect for mm, over a month now. And so... <laughs> Who knows what will happen if dad sells his car. So just stay tuned for that vlog. Thanks guys for watching. I love you. See you in the next. Bye.